Day one of the lights, baby. Feeling good, feeling ready, feeling prepped. Excited to be there. Can't wait to see the car though. Turn right onto Tallahassee Road. Tallahassee. It's Monday morning. We're here at the Academy event here in Homestead um, in Miami, Florida. I'm really happy and I cannot wait to get on track. Right now, I am testing an Indy Life car with uh, Hunkos Racing. The owner, Ricardo Hunkos, is walking in. <laughs> I got a supervised. Yeah, I got a supervised. What's going on? I, was I can see you guys going to the track without visor. If I, I come down <laughs> here, okay? I don't know why, it's That's so clear, it's like there's no visor there. Exactly. But uh, yeah, we just got done doing data, um, where Ricardo just walked is actually the, the debrief room, where we do all the data with Victor Granzoni, and then my the, the new data engineer, or the new um, engineer is uh, Tim Neff. But uh, yeah, I'm just prepping right now, I'm excited to get out there and just relax and kind of get in the mindset. Right now I'm just warming up before I get in the car. People don't understand how much physical effort goes into racing. Especially, I've never driven this car, but I, Victor Franzoni has, a lot of the drivers that, that race in this, in this series, they're like, hey, if this is your first time in the car, you're not gonna be able to walk after the first day, and your arms are, and your hands are gonna be toast. Um, so I'm a little nervous, but this is what we train for. This is why we bulked up. This is why we wanted to get a little bigger. This is why we wanted to get stronger and faster. Did you put the one already? What? Did you put in the one already? No, not yet. Oh, you, we see. I don't want it because nobody I told me to. Now you're very early on throttle. Like when you put on one, I know, I know exactly. You, what you're, you, about. you're gonna have yeah. to wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And a little Especially bit Especially the, the the hairpin because yeah, I was it, noticing that's why we wanted to switch it because I was like, man, I'm getting a power really, I'm gonna develop a bad habit. And now I know what you're talking about when you hold more speed in the turn four to get it to rotate and sit. Yeah. Wow. done with uh, test session number two which basically was my first session because um, the very first session was I only got three laps and I never completed one so uh, it was good but I got to feel the car look barely but this session was really good it took me a minute to get up to speed but we haven't even gone to the it's called calc one we have five uh, six different uh, position throttle map positions and I haven't even gone I've been on six because when you start learning this car they put you on the rain mode so the turbo's not as aggressive so you don't spin out but I'm um, excited for this next session. We get to go to Calc 1, means the car is faster, more powerful, and I feel really good right now. Like, really good. I'm only one second off of my teammate, and he, I haven't gone to Calc 1 yet, so I'm really, really excited. So let's get going, and uh, yeah, we'll see what the next session brings us.
The rest of the course is well, like you're, you're spot on, spot on, spot on. Then, going, but you're, what I saw, you're still turning it maybe a little bit too early. No. I couldn't put a lap together except for those last couple. Of what was the quickest lap you got? 18. 18. Yeah, yeah. Those high ones I took off. You did your fastest. The end, the yeah, the, the change was great. The change was great. Did you try anything in the, in the no? Okay. It was perfect, and I was in third gear on the exit. And I still got an 18.6. Yeah, I know. That was, that was. But no, but like. If you if you see that that turn six is getting difficult, back it up. I did. I started that's and, that's, and that's when I started getting faster. When I started backing from, up more. From more. my view, you're, you're, you're better early. I have to see it on the onboard. It's good though, but I'm like sore. This car is getting dense. So you like it? Yeah, man. Love yeah, it. yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I'm just trying to get used to the size of the car. So yesterday I was a little bit, I wasn't using the, the track limits because you want to use every part of the track. Uh, on an entrance, you want to be like right on the grass. And I was about two feet away from the grass, so I got to start moving over because that's like two tenths throughout the entire track, which is a lot of time for us. So I'm really excited and today we're gonna go out there and be smart about what we do. We're not gonna go try over driving because if we do, this car we're gonna go way slower. So we're just gonna go out there, do the same thing we did yesterday and just slowly start progressing down. so much. Woo. Woo. It was a really good session. <laughs> Doing really well. Just don't get so excited. No. Even if it's down. Yeah. And just think of fix all the things that we need to figure out for the next session. But other than that, you're doing pretty good, man. First time ever I've actually moved shit in the car while I was driving. It felt like I knew what I was doing. Thank you. How you like it, Bobby? Love it. Love it more than anything in the world. Session one of day two was great. I am exhausted a little bit. I'm a little sore from yesterday, but other than that, you know, I feel really good. But there's still a lot we gotta fix. I mean, I'm making some simple mistakes, you know, not making, not using all the tracks still, not breaking deep enough, not using the tires. I mean, I wasted my new set. So, but it was a really good se session and, you know, we just really gotta focus up and go do data and figure out what we're doing for, for session two. We're gonna try to make the best of the time we have here and, and really making the team proud because I really want a seat for next year. You know, this is, this is a deciding factor right now, so I gotta really put my head down and try hard. Look at how the car is rolling more speed. First thing, you see how the rear is kind of like starting to slide a little bit. You get a little bit earlier to power in that compression spot. Because you could hear it, like you could hear that, like the engine carrying a little bit higher RPM also when he's getting to power earlier. Than you.
the entire session, the radio was keying. Boop, 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 boop. Oh my god. Sorry, I got distracted a couple times. Yeah. I mean, no, because it was beep. No, you know the key radio? Yeah. In the entire session. Beep, I think the battery is going down. Okay. Yeah, it didn't stop those. I know, I know. I kept on driving. And I, that's when he came in. I kept on going. You can do it. It When you were doing it, I was taking splits. It's so consistent each time. It felt super consistent. Yeah. And, and, you were, and you're getting consistent with the, with the throttle, exiting six. It looks good. It's only when you miss it and you, and you, and you get an understeer. But when you do it right, it looks perfect. Last session. What are trying to do? Uh, we're going to do out for two qualifying runs, which means that we're going to light fuel, new tires. And then on the second qualifying run, we're going to be able to use push to pass, which means uh, it's like boost for the turbo. And it adds quite a lot of horsepower. So, I know I look like a, a, a crusader knight right now. Yeah, I was like a rocket ship, man. Holy. But Jesus. Do it to admit, though, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Good job. Pushes it a little bit slowly. But it was fun. It went off. Maybe in. See? 14.8. Then you did your 16.1. We just finished. Uh, the first testing two days of uh, Indy Lights. We got pushed to pass on the last session. We got qualifying runs. I got my fastest times. It was fun, I do have to admit. And I had a great time. My body feels amazing. Other than my elbows look like little tennis balls. I'm happy and I'm ready for Sebring. I'm very proud of him. No mistakes at all. He was very mature about it and just improved little by little each session. In my head, you have the ability to move up. I just believe we need to make sure we yeah. secure the funds and mm -hmm. Make sure you, you get enough preparation to get the max out of this season. Yeah, no, I can't express how great these last two days were. Well, if I'm being honest, guys, I really want to thank the, the viewers, you who's watching this video because you guys are supporting my career. It's helping me with my social media, helping me get my word out there, get, helping me get my story out there. I am so grateful for that because I wouldn't be able to be here today driving this Indy Lights car. So I just really want to thank you guys and I hope that you like these videos and I really hope that you guys watch Sebring's videos. So as always, spread love and I'll see you next time.